Welcome to Anime and Kid Stuff. It's room tour time. I'll uh, pan across the room to start with, and then I'll do a deeper dive and um, explain more in depth of some of the things we have. The table there, and then lastly, a bookshelf. All right, let's uh, start at the beginning. I'm gonna start with the wall. Some wall scrolls there. Ghost in the Shell manga print. A patch. Another wall scroll. An original Fruits Basket keychain. Alita manga print. Mega Man 2 Leaf Shield figure. And in the wall, some official Atari 2600 prints. Now we'll start back with the figures. Here is a Gundam Memory Stardust scale. And on the side here is reserved for a Your Line April reissue of the 2016 scale figure by Good Smile. Here are some NECA figures, a Prisoner figure set, 60s show of the Prisoner. I, the end credits is also my ringtone. Here's a Mass of the Universe. I really like the adult collector label at the bottom, giving that sense of permission. Here's some uh, mini epics, some District 9, Alita movie version, Lord of the Rings. Here's a 2019 Fruits Basket resin figure, Capcom vs. SNK 2 figures. And on top here are some Super 7 muscle figures. Um, the original ones from the 80s were a great early taste of Japan at a time when anime and things like that wasn't very accessible. And these are done in a cool anime style. Even though we didn't get the original anime Kinakuman that they were based on, it was still cool to have the figures. Yu Yu Hakusho and streetwear outfit. This vampire character reminds us of Kid Dracula from the Castlevania games. Here's some Transformers figures based on the movie. Great movie from 1986. Here's some Transformers Masterpiece figures, reboost and skids, with Bumblebee on top. Here's Sailor Moon. On the bottom are some Figure Arts Zero with Figure Arts Mini on top. And at the end there's a Chibi Arts with a King Joe from Ultra 7. Now we'll do the desk here. Here's a Ninja Turtle Splinter based on the comic book version, which is cool to see so much on that 1984 comic these days. Here is a die-cast Tachikoma from Standalone Complex. This yellow one only appears in episode 25. Another figure is mini there. Here's some uh, Weta polystone statues for Lord of the Rings. A Blade Runner horse in the middle. Another Lord of the Rings golem and a hop from Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. Here's some pins and a Promised Neverland pin, um, which looks like the one Minerva used in the manga. Here is a Otaku no Video patch and a Pudding Pudingo plush. Look through the floor here. Tortured figures, some clear files from Tokyo Otaku Mode and others. Here's a Trapper Keeper re reissue that uh, uses the original retro designs. Here's a Count of Monte Cristo messenger bag. Here's a Gantz DVD set. And on this side of the floor, is Pen Pen from Rebuild of Evangelion. I don't like the Rebuild films as good as the original, but it's a cool plush. Here's a Pooh plush from Yu Hakusho, a Squishable brand Tanuki, and a Squishable brand Miku. As someone who dabbles with music myself, I really like the musician characters. Here's another Squishable, and here are two a Ramen with a Kirby Squeak Squad and animal outfit on top. Here is some uh, Pikmin plush, and now for the table here, we have some Transformers. This one is in cartoon colors, but they're reissues from the original G1 designs. These ones are straight reissues at the back here. Very cool. And on the back are movie versions, still using the G1 designs, but in movie colors. Hot Rod is back there. Here are some Star Wars vintage collection figures. Again, a musician character I really like. Um, these are basically reissu reissuing the original Kenner ones, but using um, the sculpts and things like that, but improving them. Paint work and articulation, too. These are Star Crystal figures in the 70s Kenner style. Here are some muscle figures for Mega Man and Robotech. On the back are some more. And on the table... 
Here are some coffee table books, Art of Atari, Lord of the Rings Adult Coloring Book, Garbage Pill Kids Book. Here are some soundtracks and things like that. It's cool to get something for dark, as merch was hard to find for that great Netflix series. Black Sun soundtrack, Madoka Magica soundtrack, these books 1 and 2 for DS, some more there. Here's a Kirby coaster set that my friend from Singapore picked up on her recent trip in Japan. Let's go back and do the Legend of do the Nendroids. Attack on Titan, Kirby, Spice and Wolf, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Full Metal Panic, Promise Neverland. Here's a cool pencil board from the same friend from Singapore, Yu Yu Hakusho, Black Lagoon, Death Note manga version, Your Lion April, Shin Kamen Rider. This one's cool because the eyes light up. Shantae, another attack on Titan in the Steins Gate video game. Mega Man 11, cool waterproof sticker on top for the game. Uh, Shovel Knight, some Bon Presto figures with Papa Parade figures on top. And some cute Posket figures. These remind me of Cupid dolls, which I wonder if the QP in the name is somehow a reference to that. Here's some Chimmy Mega Buddies from Mega House for Code Geass, and a GameStop exclusive Bash with Donuts for Trigon. Here is some Funko Pops. I'll go slow so you can see which ones we have. Host Club is a really funny anime. Full Metal Alchemist. It's cool to get those because those are in the original version of the series, which you don't see much merch for these days. And now we'll go to the bookshelf. Some Zoids and a Gundam model kit on top. Zoids was another great toy line that was from Japan at a time when it wasn't ne nearly like it is today. And then the same with Transformers for that matter. Um, That's why these Kotobuki of Shoujo statues are the perfect reminder of the Transformers Japanese roots. And these of course reimagine Transformers characters as humanoid female anime characters. Here are some anime Blu-rays and DVDs with a nano block aisle in front. I'll go a little slower here too so you can check out what there is. And there's a nano block cut man in front with one of his minions from the stage. Mega Man 1. Here are some western sci-fi and British comedies mostly. And down here are some western graphic novels, like the 1984 Ninja Turtles, which is a great series for a very gritty adult interpretation, which is so cool, and the same with the last one in there. Here's some more Dark Crystal comics, the some DC Vertigo ones there, like Demo, Enigma, Other Side, some Calvin and Hobbes, and then some regular novels at the end. And here are some manga. Trigon, Alita, some Silent Voice, and the Promise Neverland box set, which is really cool too. Here's some Castlevania Netflix series figures with this cool image from the Castlevania 1 level 5 boss fight. That boss fight still gives me shivers.